Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. Certain compounds can be expressed by a number of Lewis structure with a similar energy, position of nuclei, bonding and non-bonding pairs of electrons. And these structures are called resonance structure. And that phenomenon is called resonance. Right resonance structure, certain rules are there. We need to follow the rules. According to the rules, the position of atoms should remain same. Only we can change that electrons. At the same time, the number of electrons, whether it may be paired or unpaired electrons, should be equal in number. If charges are present, the negative charge should be present on highly electronegative atoms. See how to write the resonance structure for carbon dioxide. To write carbon dioxide resonance structure, first we need to write that Lewis structure. To write the Lewis structure, let us see these steps. Step 1. Write skeletal structure. When you are writing the skeletal structure, the center should be less electronegative atom. So in carbon dioxide, carbon is less electronegative. So we go to draw that carbon in the center and that oxygen we go to draw just around that carbon. Look at the step 3. Count valence electrons. So we go to count that valence electron, carbon valence electron 4, then 2 oxygen atom, valence electron of oxygen atom 6. So since we have the 2, 2 into 6, 12 plus 4, 16 valence electrons should be present in this compound. Step 4, single bond between all the atoms. So we go to draw the single bond. Single bond means 2 electrons are involved in this. Step 5, double or triple bond for central atom. Why we go to double or triple bond means to satisfy octet rule. We know that carbon valence electron so using that we can draw that electron dot structure 1 2 3 4 that means carbon can form four covalent bonds already we have drawn that two bonds here so we can draw one here then another one here come to that step 6 octet for highly electronegative octet oxygen is highly electronegative so we go to give that octet configuration here already two bonds are there. So 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 8. Same way for this oxygen also. 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 8. Let us count that total valence electron. 16 electrons are present or here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we have that 16 valence electron. So this is the correct Lewis structure. There are some exceptional cases are there. Expanded, deficient, odd electron system. But that carbon dioxide is not following any one of these. So we can write that other resonating structures also. To write that other resonating structure, first let me draw that the same structure here once again. During resonance, electrons can move from one place to other place. So this is the electron rich part because two lone pairs are present on oxygen atom. So now this one of the lone pair form that one bond here so due to that what will happen is that 2 4 6 8 10 that that this central carbon has now 10 electrons this is like violating the rule so due to that now this double bond breaks and it forms lone pair on oxygen so we go to draw for drawing that first we write that atoms because we are not changing the position of the atoms so C then O then here oxygen atom so now triple bond then here single bond now we can write that electron pairs so here we have only one electron pair then here now three lone pairs one second lone pair and third lone pair now we can count that valence electron because every time we need to check that number of valence electrons 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 so it means that uh, the number of valence electrons are same. Any other possibility is there? Yes. Now the same way, instead of this, uh, this load pair electron on oxygen atom can move. So when this oxygen atom moves, there is the possibility of triple bond on this carbon and oxygen atom and then this bond breaks and it forms lone pair on this oxygen atom so we can draw that for the first we need to draw we need to write that atom first 
carbon oxygen then here also another oxygen so now here triple bond and then here single bond so due to the triple bond here we have only one lone pair and then this oxygen now this bond breaks and that lone pair is formed here so three lone pair between this oxygen atom now let us count that number of electrons 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 so the same number of valence electrons are present any other possibility we cannot change that if you are changing also further we are getting the same structure only so these these are the three resonance structures of carbon dioxide these resonance structures can be shown by double headed arrow so these are the three resonating structures of carbon dioxide thanks for watching